Okay, well, uh, how many were just tremendously blessed by God over the last few days, just soaking in his presence? And uh, we just want to thank uh, uh, Liz and Wes and, and the others that were here. And want to thank you. Thank you for coming hungry for God. And uh, we had a wonderful time. Uh, we are tremendously honored by our friendship with the Wrights. Well, we, we just, I can't say that enough. We're honored to know you. We love you very much. They're going to come and share and um, just follow dove trails, right? Just wherever Holy Spirit goes. So let's welcome Liz Wright. Play it by ear. Okay. Good morning, family. <laughs> ah, we're all so hungry for him, aren't we? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh my gosh. His Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh, holy, holy, holy. I have been seeing the throne of God over here, above us, since I walked in this morning. I literally went flat on my face inside. My heart just went down before the Lord. I was before the throne. And I, I saw the lightnings and the thunders over the throne. And I was just lay there. And I could, like, over and over and over, what was coming out of my spirit was glory, glory, glory. It's interesting that Paul Keith and Amy are coming in, and that's the name of your conference. It's like glory, glory, glory. I felt the throne in position over, the, over here, literally over here. Holy, 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 to administrate the authority of the king, to reveal the authority of the king. Ha, ha. So, ha. <laughs> Jesus gave me a word for the church here. It always, that if you are not from this particular family, receive it, grab it for yourself. It's for all of us. But I really felt, Dave and Cheryl, to offer you this word from the Lord. It's, it's I believe, what you're, you've already stepped into. You're already moving in it. But there's a, what's happening to us now as we're, as we're transitioning. We're transitioning fully. And you are taking us there. You're one of the people to take us there into the new age, into the new expression, to the fullness, into the... What, it's gonna, what we're going to look like as we step into the harvest. Holy, 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 holy. So I wanted to read you that word. Holy. Jesus. Jesus. Holy. So I encourage you, listen to Jesus as I speak. Holy. It's profound. Holy Spirit. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for fresh faith and igniting inside of each one of us now to receive your truth and to receive the power that's contained within this word. Holy. Revelation 12, 10. Now, salvation and power are set in place. Holy. I can feel the Lord embedding this in to the global movement that's moving out from here. Salvation and power are set in place. And the kingdom reign of our God and the ruling authority of his anointed one are established. 
they're established. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who relentlessly accuse them day and night before our God has now been defeated and cast out once and for all. You, this is personal from Jesus to you, you conquered him completely through the blood of the lamb and the powerful word of his testimony. You triumphed because you did not love and cling to your own lives even when faced with death. (sighs) Jesus, this is his heart to you. This is his affirmation and his confirmation. You might feel worn out, beat down, weak, inadequate, whatever. This is how Jesus sees you. This is the victory that's been secured on your behalf. And I really feel it, his encouragement, his empowerment, his affirmation. He's saying to you, now, 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 salvation and power are set in place. You will live from the victory. You will live from the victory. You will implement the victory. This is where we are moving now. This is how we are moving now. This level of surety inside, this level of power flowing through as certainty aligned on the inside with the victory that was secured. He's activating it. He's activating it. There's a strengthening happening. Receive the strengthening of the Lord this morning. The strengthening, the affirmation of the King. You are untouchable. You are untouchable. The radiant splendor of the majestic king is surging up inside you again and is radiating out of you. He has set in place the authority of who he is. His salvation and power are set in place. Holy, 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 immovable, immovable. The enemy cannot dominate anymore. He cannot take out. He cannot have any success. He cannot bring any more destruction. Heaven has overruled. Heaven has overruled. Heaven has overruled. Holy, 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 holy. Rise with the sword of the Spirit that has been given to you. Rise with the sword of the Spirit that's been given to you. Rise, 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 rise. You will evict, 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 you will evict. Holy, 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 holy. You will take the head off your enemy. What does that mean? It means you will take authority over the authority that they think they have. The head represents authority. You will take off, take off and overrule and shut down all false authority, everything that was disarmed at the cross from this place, from this place, from this time, from this time, you will extend the kingdom. You have been born. You have been trained. You have been appointed for now, for now. If you are hearing my voice, this is for you right now. There's going to be a mighty, powerful expression from here, from here, from this family, from the movement that's going global from here. There's going to be a mighty sound, a roaring. The lion's roar is going to sound across the nations of the earth and bring the kingdom of God across the nations of the earth to change the nations, to decapitate the false ruling spirits that 
sit enthroned in mountains across the face of the earth, in places of influence. It's over. It's over. It's over. Salvation and power are set in place and the kingdom reign of our God and the ruling authority of his anointed one, holy, holy, are established, are established. He's shifting you. If you're not on the back foot, you are now reigning, 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 reigning. He's come. He's come on his white horse. Get on the back of the white horse now by faith. Ride with him. Ride with him. Ride with him. The host of heaven's armies is riding, 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 riding. We're with him. We are the army of lovers, of laid down lovers, clothed in power. (sighs) Jesus, (sighs) Jesus, (sighs) the accuser of our brothers and sisters who has relentlessly accused you guys day and night before our God has now been defeated, cast out once and for all. There has been an eviction notice released. It has been established. Who? They, you, you conquered him. This is Jesus speaking. He's looking at you. He's telling you the truth from heaven's perspective. This is now. This is your destiny. This is now. It's your destiny. You conquered him completely. You conquered him completely. When your life, when your, the timeline of your mandates and your assignments is here, you will look back and you'll go, we did. We did. We conquered him. We conquered him. This is your testimony. And as you go forward in time now, this is your testimony. There is a powerful alignment happening inside of us. There is a powerful shift happening inside of us right now. Grab it. Grab it by faith. Grab it by faith. This is, if you let this truth override your emotions, take Take, bring order, bring order back in your being right now. Bring order. (sighs) Let your spirit come up. This is truth in your spirit. This is power in your spirit. Settle your soul down. Settle your soul. Quiet your soul like a child, like David said. Quiet your soul right now. Quiet your body. Quiet the noise around you. Listen to the king. He is speaking to you fresh power for what's ahead. He's giving you fresh hope. He's giving you fresh focus. He's giving you encouragement. Holy Spirit, the one that has accused you, cast out, dealt with at the cross. The Spirit of God has moved on your behalf, moved on your behalf. And he said, you conquered him completely through the blood of the Lamb, the powerful word of his testimony. You triumphed because you did not love and cling to your own lives even when faced with death. You've chosen life. You've chosen to walk by faith as a new creation. Laid your life down. Allowed. You've made the choice to allow, to yield to the king and allow him to be the force that comes through your life now. The force of truth. The force of life. The force of resurrection life. The force of deliverance. The force of healing. Restoration and fulfillment of all things. That is what the Lord is doing. Restoration. The one who descended, ascended to bring about Ephesians 4. The restoration and fulfillment of all things things. The restorative power has been given to you. The key, the key, the key to release restorative power, to equip the nations with the restorative power. Multiplication, multiplication is coming from you. Multiplication, multiplication. The Lord says he's birthing, he's birthing, he's birthing, he's birthing, he's birthing, he's birthing, he's birthing now. Thank you, Jesus. Who, 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 you have become His poetry, a recreated people that will fulfill the destiny. You will fulfill the destiny that he has given to you. Who you will fulfill it. Who you, for you are joined to Jesus, the anointed one, inseparable, undefeatable. You are joined to the living, sovereign God. Union, union, union is our place of power. Who, even before you were born, God planned in advance your destiny and the good works that you would do to fulfill it. 
and nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. Nothing, 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 nothing. Because you are the dream of God. You are what he decided to bring forth. He crafted and he formed you and he planned you and he planned every day of your life. He planned your destiny before, before the earth was formed. And you will fulfill it. You will fulfill it. Holy, 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 holy. Jesus said to me, you are a people who will fulfill your purpose and you will equip others to walk this way in the new that's here. (sighs) Governmental people for this hour, like Dave said, naturally supernatural as Jesus is, so are we. Fully man, fully God, first among us, first born among us, fully God, fully man. Whoa, Jesus, whoa, Jesus, whoa, Jesus, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm telling you the power, the power, the power of Christ is rising inside of us, is breaking out from within us. The wisdom, what unhindered flows of wisdom, 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 solutions from the mind of God that will bring massive breakthroughs, massive global breakthroughs will shift. Whoa, break the shackles of people's feet. Break them, break them, break the shackles, break the bondage, break the captivity. It's time, break the programming. Break break the conditioning. Break it. Break it. Break the restrictive boxes that people are living in. Shatter the delusions with the truth. Use the sword, the mighty sword that the Lord has put within you. The Spirit of God, the Word of truth is within you. And He's coming out. He's coming out. He's coming out. And you're going to speak with fire coming out of your mouth. Fire, 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 fire fire. You're going to speak with fire that is going to purify people and it's going to engulf people. It's going to saturate them in light, saturate them in truth, saturate them in presence. This is kingdom people moving now. Kingdom people. We're not in the church age. We're in kingdom. Revelation light is flooding us now to move in power and move in power as the authentic people of God. Who, 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 radiating, 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 releasing fire, releasing the sound of the heart of the lion, the lion who is breaking, breaking, breaking the bars, breaking the captives free now. Sure, sure. There's a lot flooding out over the nations, a lot as we know of lies, spewing lies, telling us what life is, who we are, what's right and wrong, what's real. We're rising. He's rising among us. The unstoppable ones now marching with him across the, the, the nations of the earth, who in the spirit and in the natural, wherever he puts you, wherever you place your feet, is land taken back for the kingdom of God. Our hearts are awakening to the authority of who we are, fully natural, fully divine, fully natural, fully divine, created to have dominion here, to rule with him. Whoa, 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 Jesus, whoa, 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 Jesus. Holy, this scripture the Lord had me bring the opening night of our conference. I felt burning inside of me for you. This is a place that will train and equip and send out this for this now, for this now, holy, for the expression of Christ that's being unveiled in us in this hour, for the power 
equipping people to move in unprecedented levels of power, awake, to take their position, to take their station, strong, to evict, to evict what's been there. The enemy fills the vacuums when we abdicate our positions of responsibility through tiredness, weakness, sickness, not seeing. There's no condemnation. The Lord's putting people back in position now, this time stronger than ever, stronger than ever. <laughs> Yielded ones laying before the throne, all power and authority flooding through us. The one who is all power and authority, all authority expressing his nature. Jesus is getting his dream. Isaiah 9, a child has been born for us. A son has been given to us. The responsibility of complete dominion will rest on his shoulders. <sighs> complete dominion. Complete dominion. This is his planet. <sighs> he decides. His word is final. His authority is absolute. Glory to God. The scales are falling from our eyes. The eyes of our hearts are being flooded with light. And his name, his name will be the wonderful one, the extraordinary strategist. Wow. 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 His plans and purposes for you. They came from the extraordinary strategist. His purposes for you are perfect. He's perfect in all his ways. We can lean into him. We can trust him. We can trust him. He's saying, come out of the chaos. Lean back into him, into the enfolding arms of the majestic God. He's strengthening you with power. And this place here is a place of being strengthened in power. The global work, you will be strengthening the nations with power, strengthening them. It's a new deposit of power, new dispensing, new level of the dispensing of God within us, of truth illuminating into our hearts, of us then seeing the truth and becoming the truth. <sighs> The more we see of him, the more we realize who we are. Because we are made in his image. The exact likeness of the living God. We look at Jesus, we see who we are. Look at him. Look at him in this hour. Look at him. Look at him as king. Look at him as redeeming power. Look at him. Greater works than the ones he did walking the earth we will do now now, confounding the wisdom of the wise with the brilliance of God, with true wisdom. The full seven spirits of God are working with us now. Spirit of counsel and might, spirit of awe of God. I really felt the spirit of awe of God here this morning. I feel that the spirit of the awe of God is going to be tutoring you. He clothes our heart with purity. When we have the awe of God, the fear of the Lord is beautiful. It's beautiful. It causes us to walk in holiness. He does. He does. You're going to have such a massive impartation, such a tutorage from the spirit of all. <sighs> Gives you divine perspective. Things like fear of man fall away. The fear of power of man fall away. When we stand in the presence of the almighty king, you're going to have such a deposit of this. You have it. You're going to have more of it more of it in your life, to be able to walk in holiness. This is what's coming into the body now. This is what's coming. This is it's already here. This is what he's doing, bringing forth a pure bride through which power flows. The accuser of the brethren's mouth is shut. It's shut. It's powerless. Do not listen. It's been judged He's been judged. It's been dealt with. It's been dealt with. Holy, 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 holy. It's too late. <sighs> the mighty God. 
the father of eternity, the prince of peace. In your time with him, turn in on the inside into these aspects of who he is. Look at him in the word. Study the attributes of who he is. Look at him. Get lost in him. Entangle into him. Entangle into the meaning. Meditate on the truth. The one who is the truth. Keep your gaze. He's going to ignite power in you. He's doing it. Holy. And you will literally be like combusting power that will equip others to see and move and take authority and step into the partnership. Listen to this verse. Great and vast is his dominion. Great and vast is his dominion. He will bring immeasurable peace and prosperity. Holy. And of course, when Jesus was born, when he lived here, when he was crucified, when he raised, rose from the dead, this word came into earth, became our experience. He will rule on David's throne and over David's kingdom to establish and uphold it by promoting justice and righteousness from this time forward and forevermore. The marvelous passion that the Lord Yahweh commander of angel armies has for his people will ensure that it's finished. It's finished. This is what's happening. This is what we're awakening to. This is what you're going to be equipping the nations with. More than you ever have. To walk in the partnership, in dominion, secure, connected on the inside, yielded, seeing him, seeing the majesty of God, seeing the supreme influence of the king powering through you, seeing from heaven's perspective, seeing that you overcome and you overcome and you overcome and you overcome because it's your identity, the one who overcame for us is powering through us now. <sighs> Revealing the dominion of God. That's what the kingdom means, right? The domain of the king. The domain of the king. scripture that was burning in my heart was for there is now no no condemnation for those who are in Christ no condemnation none zero nada complete black hole of condemnation zero zero and that's part of our identity in Christ no condemnation condemnation can be and is an enemy to the brethren <laughs> the enemy is an accuser he uses condemnation to accuse false accusations false claims and it can be a heavy weight it can slow us down it can turn us back and all these beautiful truths that Liz has been sharing 
They can be stemmed if we're sitting in a bathing bath of torrent of condemnation. Condemnation is not peaceful. It's not kind. It is not a fruit of the Spirit. And I just want to give you one little key as to how to sit in and receive and operate from the freedom that this brings. This no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Going back 14 years ago or so, I applied for a position at a um, prophetic school. And I thought it was a really good thing to do, as you would if you're following the Lord. Why would you not want to go to a place that would help you in your walk with God, would help you become more prophetic, would help you unravel and unveil and understand your identity? I got refused. And I sat there in the morning. And I couldn't understand this because I thought, man, I thought this was God's will. I thought I was going there and I, you know, this seemed really good and, you know, and I am a prophet. I know I'm a prophet. And then the enemy starts. Man, sometimes it's easy to hear his voice, right? Sheesh. You know what he said to me? You call yourself a prophet and you can't even get into a school prophets you think you're a prophet and you've got to pay for this school who do you think you are who's heard that man I've heard that a few times if I'd have stayed in that place I would have been under the curse of condemnation because my answer to that presented with the evidence he'd given me was I am not a prophet. I am not worthy to go to a school of prophets. In fact, if I'm not worthy to do that, then what am I worthy for? And then the spiral goes down. So one of the biggest keys in my life that the Lord showed me. Ah, oh, you center into Christ. How do you do that? You stop. You pause. You pause those voices. You pause his condemnation and you stop. And you do what David did. You inquire of the Lord his perspective is truth and so I inquired of the Lord in that moment I stopped those condemnations I said Lord Lord what do you say what do you say about this rejection and it was beautiful he said to me stand up Go downstairs, pick up the post. There will be a CD from your spiritual mentor. Listen to the CD. Well, I hadn't heard the post. I didn't even know the post had arrived. So I walked downstairs, bundle a post. Oh, sure enough, there was a CD there. The title of the CD was, What is on your horizon? I.e., where are you going? What's your next step? What's your destiny? <laughs> So I listened to it, it was wonderful. After I'd listened to it, he asked me a wonderful question. He said, if I stopped you from going to this school, is that a failure? Come on, if he, right, what was it? It was his course redirection or course correction. And looking back now, had I gone that route, a whole host of things 
might never have manifest. <laughs> One of the biggest, if not the biggest, my wife here. So in saying this, it's such a simple, simple key. And I need to do it even this day. You know, when your physiology starts to get going and when the enemy... If you don't stop, sit back and inquire of the Lord. Because his perspective of you is the truth. The truth. Awesome. It's the truth, isn't it? And this perspective that he's had me bring to you today is the truth. So don't let anything contradict this. Because <laughs> where we're going now is unprecedented and it's all of us. Nobody's disqualified. His blood qualified all of us. Holy. Whoo. Whoo. <laughs> we unfortunately have to dive off for a plane. You have one more thing. You have a thing. But I want us to. Okay, I'll hand back. I'll hand back one second. I want. <laughs> this happens all the time. Wait, wait, I just have to share one more thing from Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I just encourage you, spend time in these scriptures, soak in these truths, because he's got this power in them for us, and it's now. The rhema on this is now. His spirit's breathing on us to do the transformational work so that we can ride with him. We can ride with him in the nations, and I'm very excited to see what the Lord's going to birth through the global movement now. This, whatever it is, we haven't had a chance to talk about it all, but what is ahead now? And he said that all provision for what's ahead because it's the bringing of his kingdom. It's already there. It's already done. It's unlocked everything you need. Provision, people, wisdom, everything. Favor, favor, favor. Because it's him. It's his kingdom coming on earth. It's his people ready. The government of God rising. And you're obviously a powerful activation center. A power center for it all. So. I agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Final, final point. How do you know that it's God that is speaking to you? And how did I know that that was God telling me he course corrected me? Right? I, I like practical stuff. I, I like it. How do I do this and how do I know? Because at some point, it has to meet out here in the natural, in the flesh. It all boils down to a fundamental law the fundamental law that God created, which is like begets unto like. That is a fundamental law that is absolutely in the fabric of everything and is in the fabric of God's DNA. It is and never will change. What do I mean by the fundamental like begets like? Love will always produce love. Fear, however, will never produce love. It is an absolute impossibility. Beauty will beget beauty. An acorn from an oak tree will always produce an oak tree. The offspring of a man and a woman will always be a human being. Okay, so when we're having this like begets unto like. <laughs> the fruits of the Spirit are a clue. Okay, and what are they? Your joy overflows. Peace that subdues. Patience that endures. Kindness in action. A life full of virtue. Faith that prevails. Gentleness of heart strength of spirit so if a voice tells you something and it doesn't produce any of those it is not the voice of the Lord whenever he has spoken to me every single time even a course correction even a correction of my behavior 
There has never been one time he has left me in despair. Not once. Not once. No matter what I've done, no matter where I've been, nothing. No. It will always bring either joy. It will always bring either peace. It will always bring a kind of patience and a kind. It will always bring one or all of the fruits of the Spirit. So when you inquire of the Lord and you hear the Lord speak, does it line up with the fruits of the Spirit? Is it producing the fruits of the Spirit? Because if it is, it is from God. Like begets like. So what are we going to look like as majestic glory starts to become revealed? (laughs) That aspect of who God is as sovereign king, visible in the earth, unveiled through his people, like begets like. Awesome word. It's an amazing. (laughs) I get to travel with him this time. (laughs) Amen. Amen. The handbag hand back. Amazing Jesus. Be encouraged. He's with you. He's taking you to a different level. All right. We love Wes and Liz. Let's, let's hear it for them. Let's let them know how much we love them. Hallelujah. And I... I want to remind you to support them in every way you can possibly think of, financially, support them in prayer, support them in uh, just every way you can think of. And uh, I just want to say again, we're honored by your friendship. We have a lot of people come through here, but you're different. (laughs) Family. We're family. We're family, yeah. All right, hallelujah. Uh, thank you for um, for this weekend. They're going to need to slip out, so I'm going to have Greg uh, usher them out because they are on a time schedule. Uh, uh, Greg, uh, Alan, uh, take them to my office real quick. I'll meet you there. Um, so let's sing a song. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming out. Remember, uh, tonight up uh, at Grass Valley, uh, that's at the Banner Guild, 5 o'clock. And Katie Exusia is going to be there. Let's let's worship the Lord here. My soul sings. Hallelujah. My soul sings. My soul sings. How I love. 